I haven't put a race exhaust on this bike yet. Seem to do a lot of revs and it annoys everybody in the area. Might get away, do away with the decat pipe pretty soon. But it's noisy enough as it is. Tires are pretty good. Fat lax ones. You can get, use all of them. Very good tires. But a set of Michelins are going on next. Because I just like Michelins and the pattern looks awesome. So that's what, what will be going on there next when that tire is worn out. As for comparing XSR 900 with this bike, XSR does a very good job, the money you pay, but this bike takes it to another league. Just puts a big smile on your face if you're going slow or if you're going 60 mile an hour. Take my dogs for a ride. Put a few GoPro mounts on for my session. There's one on the forks there for the front suspension. Put one on the top reservoir. Don't like showing the speeds because of people can see the speed I'm actually doing. And there's a mount on the back goes doesn't look that neat but good gets good angles for the camera excellent bike good for cruising good for going flat out good all-round bike why people buy race bikes these days I'll never know when you got one of these you can go miles on it with comfort and you can do 60 mile an hour with ease. Front screen is crap so you get to 70 mile an hour then the wind just disappears. Below 70 it isn't very good but after it is very good. You wouldn't think so just by looking at it but it does work. XSR, XSR 900 wind protection with its small fly screen is good enough. Tires on that bike were brilliant. After doing the suspension on the XSR handling was no problem at all on it. People ask me which bike would you have, it's a no-brainer, MT10 SP, just is awesome. People don't like the looks of it, but I love it, it's mean. That's my review of the MT10 and the XSR 900. Both bikes, very capable bikes. It's a person sitting on the seat that lets both bikes down. Both bikes, very good. I'd have an XSR 900 again as well.